I can't believe it actually happened. The unthinkable happened today. Mario Strikers Battle League finally added content, and we're going to get right into that. But first, at the end of the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. We're at 96% are unsubscribed, so why don't you guys like and subscribe? But do it at the end so I get plenty of time to prove I'm a cool guy, okay? So let's get right into this video. Okay, so the trailer can really be summed up in a couple words. Uh, two new characters, a new stadium, and some new cosmetics. Uh, the two new characters are actually um, they're pretty obvious, okay? The one big one is Daisy. Uh, the addition of Daisy in this DLC was a no-brainer, a given. Uh, Daisy was supposed to be in the original game, and it sucks that she had to be, you know, add a DLC character. But she comes with some pretty good stuff. She actually has some decent strength and an 18 technique which is the highest in the video game which is absolutely insane i think that she's actually going to be very played and a lot of people are grateful that she's finally in the game but the one that kind of caught me off guard was shy guy and i love shy guy he's my favorite always pick him in mario party he's great okay shy guy is completely all around he has 13s and 12s and all of his stats so his gear is going to be very essential of like how you play him and I think that's awesome I think that's perfect for shy guy um and he's way more average than Mario and so you'll be able to actually kind of make some builds it also shows off in the trailer that you can um have a team of shy guys so he adds that kind of full team roster like Toad and Yoshi how they can just have four of them on the field so that's pretty interesting uh, next up, we'll do the gear. The gear is actually pretty cool. It's the knight set. Looks like it gives uh, some nice shooting boosts, which is very, very good. Uh, I don't like the minusing on technique. However, that's not my favorite. But, you know, you got to win some and you lose some. Um, and the new stadium is actually pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it's called the Desert Ruin. Um, I was a little upset to not see any like field hazards like the big thwomps from Mario Strikers Charge. But the stadium cosmetically is definitely cool. It stands out from all the other stadiums. It's got some nice ruins and, and uh, like sand waterfalls like you'll see here. It, it's pretty interesting. I, I do enjoy it, but... Would have liked to see some field um, modifiers and hazards and stuff like that. Um, and that's really it. I feel like the DLC is a little bit cut short. I would have liked to see maybe some single player incentives. Uh, rather than just kind of the online portion. Being that whole stadium and, and new sets and stuff like that. Like it's all cool and I like it but... Once you've completed the story mode, there's not a lot to bring you back for single player action. And so maybe like a daily cup or like a daily challenge to come on and score like from outside of the, this margin or something. I don't know. Maybe to get some more coins and stuff like that. It would help the game feel less grindy and stuff. But this is the DLC we're getting. I can't complain too much. And the best part about the DLC is that it's coming in two days on the 21st of July which is absolutely insane um, so look forward to that um, I'm definitely gonna be posting shy guy uh, really really soon I was really getting out of the Mario Strikers grind and now that I'm that DLC is coming out I'm getting right back into it so uh, just stay patient with me and um, yeah we'll get into this uh, grind here so uh, happy playing and uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. It would help me out a lot and I love you guys. So I'll see you all in the next one.